Today I am honored to present to you our contribution in the fourth international conference on advanced aspects on software engineering, which consists on formal modeling of quality driving systems under uncertainty. In this presentation, we will precise the context and highlight the motivation of this work. We present a background about the concepts included, then we will introduce our model and explain its elements. And to clarify it, we apply it on the runways planning system. To finish, we set a conclusion and some perspectives. Nowadays, humans are relying on technology on most of their daily tasks, and softwares are invading all the life domains. Therefore, the system's qualities such as security, efficiency, or availability are becoming requirements that the system must provide to be validated and they change from a system to another. For example, social media or online payment applications must provide a high level of security to protect the personal information of the individual, while medical and healthcare systems must provide efficiency and availability, since human lives rely on them. And this is what we call a quality driving system and can be defined as a complex dynamic system which is affected by an internal context consisting on the resources provided to it and an external context consisting on the environment elements. So how can we identify those quality requirements for a given system and how can we quantify them and above all how to maintain them under the effect of these internal and external contexts? Self-adaptation is a promising solution for the modeling of those systems. But when talking about quality driving self-adaptation, we are talking about giving the best quality of the system, which means that we should choose the best plan of adaptation, and this will lead us to uncertainty in the decision-making. In this work, we present a form of modeling for quality driving self-adaptive system working under uncertainty in which we combine both high-level and plausible petri nets. A petri net can model a system such as its places represents the state of the system while the transition represents its events. A number of tokens can be holded in the places according to the number of available resources in those places. Unfortunately, this representation doesn't provide us with any information about those resources. High-level petri nets extend this definition by according types to places so the complex objects can be defined and held on them. Also, conditions are associated to transitions and variable to arcs, and this so we can model the constraints on the selected resources and modify them when firing a transition. Considering the above example, place 1 and place 2 can hold natural numbers from 0 to 5, while place 3 can hold natural numbers from 0 to 10, and transition 1 is only fireable if the token coming from place 1 is inferior to the token coming from the place 2, and the result is twice the token coming from place 1. So, as we can see here, it subtracts the token 1 from place 1 and the token 4 from place 2 and add the token 2 on place 3. In plausible petri nets, sets of nodes are partitioned into numerical and symbolic subsets. The symbolic subnets account for the discrete behavior of the system, using regular tokens as in ordinary petri nets. In the numerical subnet, tokens are states of information about a state variable x, which can be understood as posterior density function. After firing a numerical transition, the state of information resulting in the input place is the conjunction of the state of information holded in those plays and the information holded in the transition, while for the, for the output place, the result is a disjunction between the state of information held in this place and the information produced after firing this transition.
To model a quality driving system, we first have to identify the qualities of this system. Then we have to quantify them and define the means to monitor them. After that, we should define its internal and external context, so we can finally model it. For our model, we adopt three-level layer architecture composed of the base level layer, high level layer and the environment layer in which the high level layer sends both of the environment and the base level layer and adapts the last one needed. The base level layer consists of the managed subsystem while the high level layer is composed of an emulator and the managing subsystem encoded on map K loops and a set of API primitives that connects the emulator to the managing subsystem. The emulator is a high-level Petri net that encodes the behavior of any ordinary Petri nets. In our work, we have extended this model so it can represent any high-level Petri net, and this is by adding a place guard which contains the conditions attributed to all the transitions. We have also added the place token that will contain all the tokens of the system and also removed the place inhibitor since we won't need this. And for the place marking, it will encode couples of places and the ID of the tokens present on these places. The managing system is composed of two map K loops. The first one is connected to the, em the emulator while the second one is connected to the environment and sharing both the same knowledge. In the first control loop, the monitor will get the information or the tokens from the emulator and separates them following their treatment type, while the analyzer will analyze all of them to get possible solution or plans for them. The planner will get the plausibility of all of these possible plans so that the executor will apply the most plausible one. The second control loop works the same as the first one, but instead of sensing and adapting the emulator, it sends the environment and adapts the knowledge. The API primitives are high-level transition that allow both the state and the structure of the base level to be sampled or modified by the control loops. Actually, they represent sensors and architectures of the system. In an airport, the landing procedure is planned previously but aircrafts may not arrive on the scheduled time. Also, changes may occur on the weather or in the state of these resources, imposing a changement on this planning. Quality requirements of such a system are security and efficiency. The system have to maintain security by realizing separation between the aircrafts and context monitoring, while the efficiency can be realized by minimizing the delays and minimizing the waiting time of the aircrafts. In the base level layer, we model the managed subsystem with a high level petri net in which each prison token contains all the information about an aircraft that have at least reached the approach point. While for the transitions conditions, it contains the identifier of the aircraft that must pass this transition when it fires. On the shared knowledge, the place aircrafts contain all the scheduled aircrafts for the day. The places last runway, last gateway and last terminal contain the last programmed aircrafts on each resource, while the place separation 
contains all the required separations between uh, two types of aircrafts. In the places, gateways, runways, and terminals, states of information about the plausibility of landing on these resources are encoded, while the place last sequence contains the last sequence and number. The place initial of the monitor is connected to the transition file of the emulator. Each time this transition fires, tokens from the place marking of the emulator will be obtained on the place in it of the monitor. And then, tokens according to the place approach of the managed subsystem will be transferred to the place request and the other tokens will be transferred to the place get tokens. And by using the cross zone transition, the monitor will transfer all the tokens to the analyzer. For a token present on the, on the place request, the analyzer will verify if this aircraft is scheduled for the current day. If it is so, it will obtain its information from the place aircrafts and place it on the next place. For the other tokens, it will obtain their information from the place token of the emulator using the API primitive get tokens and then checking if the constraint of separation is verified. After that, the cross transition will pass those tokens to the planner, separating them into those who verify the constraint of separation and those who doesn't. The planner will sequence the aircrafts coming from the place approach by getting the last sequence and number from the place last sequence and then adding one to this number and put it in the place last sequence. For the well-planned aircrafts, it will put their information on the place's last terminal, last gateway and last runway. And for the ones that require the new planification of resource, it will replan them by calculating plausibility of all the available resources, and then it will plus them with the well-planned ones. After that, tokens are transferred to the executor using the cross transitions so it can apply all those changes. The executor used the API primitive set tokens to modify tokens on the emulator and use SESGAR to modify tokens on the place SESGAR. On the environment control loop, we monitor the direction of wind and the state of the resources. If the direction of wind or state of resource is changed, then a token will appear in the place in it of the monitor, and then the monitor will separate those tokens according to the type of changement, and this by using the cross transitions. The analyzer will obtain the aircrafts planned on the concerned resource and then pass them to the planner using the cross transitions. The planner will change the state of the resource on the aircraft's concern and then will pass it to the executor which will place it again on the place aircrafts of the knowledge. As a conclusion, we have presented our work, which consists on a formal model for quality driving self-adaptive systems that allows the modeling of both the internal and external context of the system, and also allow the modeling and the management of its uncertainties. As future works, 
We come to simulating and validating our model and this by developing a tool that allows the modeling and verification of plausible petri nets. We also look on automating the modeling of the quality driving server adaptive system. At this point, I sincerely thank you for your attention and wait for your questions.